My name is Rocky. I am 30 years old. I am an actress turned dietitian and I've had eczema since I was six months old. So a lot of people might assume that I think eczema is just a dry skin issue. I've kind of faced the ugly side of eczema where it's really red and itchy and no interventions really were working traditionally in the doctor's office. And then finally my allergist, who I was going to see for allergy shots through elementary school was like, you probably need to actually move states because being in this environment of the New York City cold bubble is not helping your situation. So I was really fortunate to have parents that uprooted their work and we moved down to Florida where the climate was actually a lot warmer and better for my skin, so that actually did help a lot. But I also have something called the allergic march, which is allergic rhinitis, eczema, and asthma. So I also react to pollens when it's spring season. Some people might be able to relate to that. There's really no cure for eczema, but just a little like help goes a long way, and especially when it's itching and flaring, I'll, I'll just take anything. I feel like I've tried almost every over-the-counter product on the market. I've also gone topical steroids at dermatologist's office, and I mean, they work for some time. They really do. Um, but then after a while, they stop working, and your skin still feels itchy, or you have the side effects of skin thinning and that's just something you don't want to use really long term. The biggest, I guess, relief that I found with Molecule 32 products, especially the Revive and the Heal, is that now I itch a lot less after I've taken a shower. It's almost like if you have a sunburn, you don't want to just slather it on with a thick, cream or like Vaseline that feels like your body's wrapped in saran wrap. You want to go for that aloe that's more soothing and I feel like the Heal and Revive is kind of like that perfect balance of in between where you're hydrating your skin and maybe it's not supposed to give you that full locked in like heavy Vaseline moisture but at least it helps with the itching. And when the itching calms down I feel like I tear into my skin a lot less and I actually help my skin heal better because it doesn't just help with the itchiness and helping with some of the dryness, but actually changes the texture of my skin from that rubbery, leathery, crocodile skin to actually something that I feel like I had more so when I was a kid. So I like to use the Heal Lotion as a base right after I get out of the shower and it's really, really lightweight, which is what I like. It's not too thick, so my skin doesn't freak out, um, but it's still very hydrating and really cooling. And use on a daily basis just to let my skin absorb any other products that I might be layering on with it. And it doesn't make my skin kind of freak out like the other lotions. My skin is so dry, but it absorbs really well. And then right after that, I will use the Molecule 32 Revive on my face. It's really, really lightweight. And again, it doesn't feel like I'm putting something super thick on my skin where it's gonna irritate it. It's a really good base for my makeup to go on as well. Sometimes I don't follow the rules. There is a lip balm, so I really do like that this lip balm has SPF 15, because we all need SPF protection for our lips. But I also have really bad eczema on my hands, and I tend to crack in between. So in between seeing patients, a lot of times when I have to go and examine my patients, um, I do have to wash my hands and they get super, super, super dry. And if I don't have my lotion with me, What's really nice is I can actually pop open the chapstick, which right now doesn't want to do that because <laughs> my hand 
<laughs> slippery. But a lot of times I'll put it into the creases of my hands to just kind of get a little bit of moisture and it's thick enough where it kind of like stays and holds in place. I do also have really, really dry under eyes and lids. A lot of people do have that eczema, like raccoon eyes. So I will put a little bit right underneath my eyes or over my eyes. Um, it's just like a little better alternative if I don't have anything on hand right away. It fits right into my pocket, so I'll use that. So the most interesting ingredient that I found in the Molecule 32 products that I haven't seen in any other products on the shelves is fulvic acid. So I'm one of those people who before I put anything on my skin, because I'm so hypersensitive, I need to know what every ingredient is and what it does. So fulvic acid is an ingredient that's actually very natural and it's used in Ayurveda, which is more of an Eastern tradition than it is in the West. But when I was looking into it, it's found in soil and organic fruits and vegetables tend to have a higher level of this. And being a dietitian, I was like, hmm, this is really interesting, okay? So I looked more into it and it's supposed to actually be a really good antioxidant, help with inflammation. And it's actually supposed to increase the uptake of nutrients. So I think it's really interesting that they combine fulvic acid into the lotions or the creams to kind of, I guess, deeply absorb the nutrients that are found in the lotions. And the lotion and the creams actually have vitamin A, C, D, E, zinc, which are all really great nutrients for skin health and overall health in general. But paired with the fulvic acid, I think that's really interesting to see how it might actually absorb and be more bioavailable to the skin. My name is Annie and I'm 22 years old and I have struggled with eczema pretty much my entire life. The drugstore products that I get over the counter tend to not work or maybe they'll work for a little bit and then they tend to just stop working. A lot of the creams and topical ointments that I get from the dermatologist have really made my skin a lot more sensitive and I can't bear to keep using those. So. I tend to not really have anywhere else to turn. I think the best part about Molecule 32 is that it really heals your skin from the inside out, so you know that you're actually getting that healing from the inside and not just putting a cream on that's gonna do work for a little bit and then you're gonna need to reapply soon. So you're getting that extended healing, you're not needing to reapply shortly after, and healing from the inside you do need to be patient with because your skin is detoxifying but with that you know that you have a prolonged healing period and you're not having to constantly spend money on new products as they finish because you're having to constantly apply every day so with molecule 32 it's just about being patient because you know that it's going to help you in the long run Having the Molecule 32 Revive has been so helpful because it doesn't leave a greasy residue and I don't break out in my T-zone. So that's something that I've been really, really happy to find. Hi, my name is Kelsey. I'm 27 years old and I have had eczema since the second grade. So I was about six or seven years old and I honestly get it anywhere and everywhere. It just likes to surprise me sometimes. I get it on my hands, I get it on this little space between my arms, the back of my elbows, my knees, the back of my neck, uh, my face, my feet, really anywhere and everywhere that you can point to. Um, I've tried basically everything in this time frame of being a toddler to an adult, and I've had varied experiences with a whole host of products. I've tried oatmeal baths, you know, going as natural as just putting aloe on every single day, even when I don't have sunburn. I've tried more extreme measures like prescription steroid creams that are so thick and chunky and not my favorite and staining all of my bedding overnight. I've tried a heat infrared uh, treatment where basically you stand in it like a tanning, tanning bed and it lightly toasts you to try to cure your eczema from the inside out. That worked, but it's a little bit much of an insurance cost. 
Uh, everything I've tried works but has a bit of a downside such as being sticky for hours on end, staining my clothes, staining my bedding, eventually re-drying me out, or maybe has a scent that is so strong and uncomfortable that I just don't want to use it continually. So I've been using Molecule 32's heel lotion that I just keep at my desk at work and at my bedside table at night. I've also been using Molecule 32's Nourish Dietary Supplement. It has fulvic acid. It comes in this bottle, really handy and easy. And it has a little eyedropper. For me, I just plop it right into some water, starting my day off hydrated and nourished from the inside out, thanks to Molecule 32. Over time, I have seen that my face especially is a lot less red um, because it basically is just draining out the lymph I talked to my acupuncturist about this actually, she said it's a real thing. After 20 plus years of suffering with eczema, I'm so excited to have finally found a product that I can actually say that about.